This video is an orientation of a Power Mechanical Incorporated's Tower Tech 1000 ton rental cooling tower modules. The design of these units allow for interconnecting of multiple towers for virtually any size requirements. Contact your rental coordinator for more information on available units and specifications. It is important before delivery that some things are considered and lined up prior to your cooling tower's arrival. This video should answer many questions that you may have as well as ensure that all necessary preliminary checks have been made. Let's get started. It's likely at this point that the site of the cooling tower is selected or has been considered at minimum. Generally, these sites are within close proximity of the facility, and it's been determined that there is room for the tower to sit. Site selection is critical for a cooling tower's proper orientation. First and foremost, areas must be large enough to accommodate the tower or towers. Additionally, the site needs to be solid and level within only a few inches across the entire plane. If there is any question whatsoever on your selected site, contact your rental coordinator for further assistance as soon as possible. Waiting until the unit arrives is not the time to realize there is a site condition that could delay delivery. Each Tower Tech module has a footprint of approximately 12 foot wide by 34 feet long. This does not include any area for connections and ancillary equipment. Concrete or asphalt areas are required for this installation, as the design requires a solid footing for proper weight distribution. Site selection takes us to the next critical point for consideration, which is a lift plan. We will look more in depth at the lifting procedure shortly. However, in the preliminary planning, it's important to understand that a properly sized crane with appropriate rigging and spreader bars will be required. Additionally, forklifts, booms, and man lifts will be needed for connection and ancillary equipment installation. Power Mechanical can provide rental equipment for installation as necessary. Contact your rental coordinator for more information and rates. Your rental coordinator will require a lift plan prior to delivery. This lift plan will ensure both Power Mechanical and you as the customer that the site is satisfactory and will be prepared to receive the cooling tower. Another critical element is determining if your facility can satisfy the electrical requirements for your rental equipment. It is never safe to assume your facility can power these units. Have these load requirements verified by a certified electrician or engineering staff prior to delivery for a smooth startup. Oftentimes, rental circulating pumps are requested in addition to cooling tower rentals, so be sure and discuss all your facility's equipment needs with your rental coordinator to get additional electrical requirements for all items that will be delivered. Once your cooling tower delivery is set, it's important to have ample access to the site and any driveways and or parking areas secured from normal traffic, if at all possible, during the time of delivery. Your rental cooling tower will ship with multiple loose shipped items. The more modules or towers required for your facility's demands, the more equipment you can expect. With a single tower module, you can plan for two tractor trailers minimum for delivery. Upon delivery, the driver will have an itemized list of materials that have been shipped. This is your bill of lading and it's important to review and identify any discrepancies at this time. Missing parts or equipment at rental's conclusion will be the customer's responsibility for return freight or replacement cost. All parts kits for assembly need to be carefully placed back into the provided containers at the end of the rental. These assembly parts will be inventoried upon return and missing parts and hardware are subject to back charge. Okay, so now you can see what to expect in the parking lot upon delivery. Let's go ahead and get this tower put together, shall we?